Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we've made it up to rank 23. Uh, and appreciate those of you that are using that code chicken in the shop. If you're gonna grab instant training for the last couple days of the season. Um, last couple days, we got like a week left. I don't know why I said that, but uh, guys, appreciate it. You subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. So here we go. Here's what we're working with. Now, I haven't made a new base. I literally just unlocked shock launchers and the doom cannon and I just threw them down where I thought they would work. And it was easy. It was easy. Combine that with the Laser Rangers. Man, Flinty, I'm so sorry, buddy. I've had your number this season. But uh, uh, you beat me a couple times there, too. So big shout out to the Flintster. I think he actually has a YouTube channel. But yeah, guys, so that was the that was the big difference. We got the Shock Launchers and we got the Doom Cannon. I've been talking all season about how we don't have defense. Now we have enough defense. So um, that combined with all the offensive stuff, that combined with all the stuff we skipped early on, we are now ready and set to go to 70 R. So we're not going to go backfill at all anymore. Um, we've got all the good, strong defenses that we need. Um, and at this point, we're actually only six chests out from 70 R, I believe. Six times whew, some quick chicken math, 150. Yeah, so six chests. Um, we'll get us there. So we'll be there in, uh, well... Uh, a couple days, not tomorrow, but maybe the day after. So that's going to be interesting. And I think what we need to do is we simply uh, we want to grab the third shock and then go for troop damage, I believe. Uh, there's no building health at the end of the tree, so troop damage, um, not that one. Troop damage, building damage, uh, probably this prototype, and then we can start and go backwards if we need to. But that's the plan for right now. And yeah, the uh, the laser rangers, man, they've, they've really come in clutch for us here. So I'll get into some live attacks in a sec. I just want to go over... Ah, uh, we'll put Flinty on blast a little bit more. Um, I just want to go over the attack for, you know, how we do it and everything like that before we get into some live ones. So it's pretty straightforward. The, the, the biggest thing with laser rangers and heavy choppers uh, in this strategy is you just have to keep them alive <clears throat> at the beginning. And then obviously throughout the rest of the attack too, but... Um, it, it's just all about managing uh, mines, as you can see we're doing there. Mines, rocket launchers, mortars are, are a big thing that can sneak up on you and kill a ton of laser rangers if you're not careful. Um, so if you manage those three things, you'll pretty much be okay. That and shock launchers. Shock launchers can be pretty devastating. Um, as you can see right here, they're just ripping these guys apart as that heavy chopper sits down on that other side. Um, yeah. So... Shock the shock launchers, take out the mines with the cryo bombs. Um, make sure that you do a good drop around the, the beginning to get around the mortars. And then from there, we really just want to pump second winds. Um, you can't rely too heavily on the second winds because they're not bombardiers, right? It's not like you can just bring back a full boat with Kavan. You'll bring back a few here and there, but he's also going to bring back riflemen. And he's going to be bringing back heavies from the heavy choppers. So it's not like he's just rezzing, you know, straight... Uh, laser rangers all the time you, you you know you can't rely on come to bring them back you've got to it's so important to keep these girls alive so <clears throat> that's the idea and then we just kind of spread and let them go and do their thing and um yeah that's basically all it is so um there's the base the base is solid it's not amazing i'm not winning because of this base i'm winning because of the the defense and stuff um and yeah now we can still use seekers and heavy chopper rush and, and all that good stuff um, at certain times, but for the most part, uh, for the most part, it's just been laser rangers. So if we go up against the 6ER, for example, that's pretty dirty, like has, you know, most of all the defenses, uh, we want to go laser ranger because it's going to be a lot easier than seeker and it's going to be a lot faster than heavy chopper rush. Um, that being said, if we're going against the 5ER, we probably want a heavy chopper rush. I haven't seen one in a few days though. Um, and if we go against like a really light seven, which I haven't done yet either, um, if we go against a really light 7 or a 6 that doesn't have shock mines, maybe. Um, in that case, we could use Seekers and get away with it. Or, I mean, you could run Bullet and Seekers. I'm just not a Seeker player. I don't, I don't like them. They're, they're very frustrating to me. And, um, yeah, much prefer the Laser Rangers. Much easier to use. Um, but, yeah, let's try to let's get a respin in here. This is taking a long time. We'll go one more. But, yeah, you guys let me know in the comments how you're making out. Um... Coming into the last week of the season, um, it's going to be interesting. And yeah, I, I know I was, you know, harping on it being a bad season and, and stuff. And I feel like there was some things they really could have done better. But 
<clears throat> it's just the worst when you get stuck in between ranks, when you're stuck at, you know, either collecting in gold or collecting in diamond, and it just, it was way too long to just be on the 20, 21 point for, you know, what seemed like forever. So that was annoying, but... Ooh, this could be potentially very bad. It's funny, when you get up higher, the last thing you want to see is lower ranks because I could lose, like, 14, 15 stars on this match. Um, I much prefer matching higher guys because it's less, you know... <clears throat> the tech that they have right now is not going to be that much better. Anyways, let's get into this. So, do 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 um, I don't really know where to go, so we're just going to do a kind of generic drop. So I still let them get out ahead a little bit. This guy doesn't have mortars, though, so we can kind of just, uh, we can throw them in relatively quickly. Uh, we're going to go cryo over here. And let's go... All the rangers have kind of bunched up, which I like. And let's go second wind over on this side. I'm actually going to shock that rocket, because I think he's targeting um, our lasers. That was kind of a dumb... Um, Critter, we didn't really need that. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, got some early cryos in. Let's hit the hot pot. And let's also hit that rocket over there. Okay. Oh, he's got a flat sand cannon. The floaties, if you don't hit them right away, they can be uh, pretty devastating. Let's do a weird flare over here. I don't typically do this, but I gotta get my rangers away from that floaty. Um, and I also would love to take out that rocket launcher. And we still have pretty good time here, so let's see what happens. Um, okay. Interesting. I think we're going to have to throw critters down there. That actually worked out really well. Alright, let's go... Let's go early over here. That little cryo get any mines out of the way. This one's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. We need this win, or we're gonna lose a ton of stars. Oh, it's so hard at the end because they really don't do a lot of damage. Okay, 217. Not a good time. Not a good time. We really want to be in that 230 range. Oh no, Dr. Phoenix is good. Oh, we got him. Let's go. Let's go. Now we are in a win streak, so we're not gonna lose. We're not gonna win. Um, He's ranked 22, so we're not going to win a ton of stars, even though we are on a win streak. But uh, let's see what we can get here. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, 15 stars against the rank 22. Huh, that was kind of surprising. Um, but I'll take that for sure. Um, so that moves us up to... Where are we at here? Still only 14 in Canada, damn. Um, but yeah, so we are... 23, 21. Look at that, guys. Number 170. That's pretty cool. So, yeah. That's really all we had to uh, to go over today. I'm not going to push anymore because I don't think we can get to 24. I think what's going to happen is um, we're just going to be facing too many really high-level guys. So, um, yeah. That's it for right now, I think. And just like I said, we want to go 7. Extra shock launcher, uh, troop damage. And I think that might be our, our parking spot. Um, we'll see, you know, we might get to seven and then everyone's at seven by then and, uh, we'll figure it out, but the tech riding, it's, you know, it's kind of worked out, I guess. It's kind of worked out towards the end of the season. Anyways, always playing the long game, guys, always playing the long game, you know, but, um, either way, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch the next one, guys. Check it out. Bear, bear.